Now, Sioux Falls man convicted of first degree manslaughter is back behind bars tonight, facing several new charges, including assault on law enforcement. 28 year old David Randall Jr. was arrested yesterday afternoon for violating parole. On the night beat, Kevin Lance Carter Schmidt has the details of his most recent crimes. Good evening, Carter. Good evening, Don and Bridget. Randall was found near the area of 15th Street and 1st Avenue just outside of downtown yesterday. Police say he tried to get away and ended up crashing into a patrol car, driving on the sidewalk, and hitting a retaining wall. In this latest case, he faces drug and aggravated assault charges. In 2015, David Randall shot and killed a man inside this Sioux Falls apartment building. He claimed it was an accident. He was drunk and high when he shot the man with an AK-47. Randall pleaded guilty to first-degree manslaughter and a judge sentenced him to 40 years in prison. 34 years were suspended as long as he stayed out of trouble. Today he was back in court. Charges included aggravated assault on law enforcement. The prosecutor pointed out it isn't the first felony he's accused of committing since being released on parole. We checked past court records and discovered since getting out of prison in April of 2020, at least eight cases have been filed against him. Charges range from reckless driving and stalking to guns and weapons offenses. One case was less than four months after his release in August of 2020. According to an affidavit for a search warrant at a central Sioux Falls home Randall was living in at the time, authorities found a handgun with four loaded magazines as well as seven THC cartridges and marijuana all in a washing machine. Additionally, they found another handgun, numerous rounds of ammunition, and other drugs, including over 60 pills marked Xanax. As part of a plea deal, 14 charges were dropped in that case, and he pleaded guilty to being in a place where drugs were used. Most of that jail time was suspended. Since his release, Randall also pleaded guilty in a case involving stalking. That sentence was also suspended. Today, the judge set bond at $100,000 cash, calling him a threat to the community. Thank you, Carter.